Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nerdy 30s Review. I'm Jason, and today we're going to be diving into a brand new unboxing of a brand new graphics card. Well, it, it's not, it's, it's new to me, and it's new in the box. Um, but it's been on the market for a while. It, but there has been a renewed interest in it ever since uh, NVIDIA and AMD launched their budget-friendly graphics cards in the 7600 and the RTX 4060 Ti. Which have been, if we're being honest, disappointing. So I think everybody is reevaluating that like two to five hundred dollar graphics card purchase range, and we're looking at previous generations, and we're looking at the one brand that could probably destabilize the whole market. I don't want to like put on my tinfoil hat or anything, but everything's just fitting a little bit too perfect for how I would like it. There doesn't seem to be as much active competition amongst price points for performance. And I just kind of feel like one is letting the other set the prices and then they just fill in accordingly. So the one brand that I believe that can step in and just shake things up is the one, the only, the Intel. That's right, this is the ARC A770 16 gigabyte. This is their reference model and I am phenomenally excited about it. I've seen some reviews. I've read uh, just how much their uh, driver and support team has just been grinding and improving things generation after generation for driver sets. So I am very, very excited to get the uh, get into this one. Take a look, see how things see how things run. I've got some really exciting plans for it that we'll get into at the end of the video. But um, yeah, let's get this thing open and let's see what she's got. All right, before we go stripping the box away here, I figure we ought to spend at least a little bit of time getting to know our brand new friend here, the ARC A770 from Intel. Now, it is built on TSMC's 6 nanometer process, and it utilizes Intel's XEHPG microarchitecture. I don't know what it is with these companies and the ridiculous names, but I actually had to do a little bit of research to figure out what XEHPG stood for. And if Roger Kadori's Twitter is to be believed, then apparently it stands for Exascale is for everyone, high performance graphics. Now, um, I don't know if that's the case. I, I don't know specifically what they were going for in that, but um, if we're looking at Exascale, I think that means 18 zeros. And if we're talking flops, then uh, I think we'd be talking a quintillion flops of performance, and I don't believe we're going to get there uh, with this guy. Uh, I do, however, applaud their optimism on that because, you know, shoot for the moon, right? And this was their first go, so, so good for them. And uh, the A770 actually contains 32 XE cores, which is their, their primary compute core, across eight render slices. And I don't fully understand how that translates just yet. I'm still researching, but um, yeah, the more I know, the more I'll let you guys know. And also it actually contains 32 ray tracing cores. That's right, this thing does the RT thing. And that's actually pretty exciting to hear. I don't know how well it's gonna perform. I imagine it's probably gonna be somewhere between AMD and NVIDIA in performance, uh, maybe behind them both. This is their first foray into it, but I gotta say that is pretty impressive that they're, they're making a go of RT the first time around. Now for speeds, we're looking at about 2100 megahertz base clock and boosting up to about 2400 megahertz. We've also got 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 running on a 256 bus, and that gives us a total graphics memory speed of around 17.5 gigabytes per second, which is pretty phenomenal, honestly. So like just based on what we've got as far as uh, core specifics for the graphics card, I mean, it ought to perform well. I believe that they rolled it out to be a 3070 competitor, but when it launched, I, I feel like we all, um, we know how that went. Um, as far as like feature sets, what this graphics card supports, what the drivers apparently support, um, is a pretty broad spectrum. Uh, so for DirectX, we've got full tw uh, DirectX 12 support, but from what I understand, the further back you go, so DX11, DX9, um, support gets a little bit hazy. I'm eager to test it out and see how far back we can go before stuff gets wonky. Uh, Vulkan, we've got full 1.3 support, OpenGL 4.6, and OpenCL uh, 3.0. Uh, of course, it is an adaptive sync compatible graphics card, which is very cool to see. 
And if you are a content creator and encoding is important, and it's definitely important to me, um, we've got full H.264 and 265 encoding as well as that elusive and amazing AB1 encoding. Uh, I'm really excited to test that out and see how it performs there. And honestly, I just want to take a minute before we crack it open. I know there's been plenty of um, uh, standing on ceremony here, but I, I think it bears repeating that it's impressive that Intel roll out all of this like they could have just like focused on hey we've got we've got the megahertz we've got the uh we've got the ram so that's all you need but the feature sets that that they provide are premium feature sets so i i have to say congratulations intel like you may not have gotten the drivers off like straight out of the bat but you shot for the moon like as far as features as far as what you were like your performance targets and and that's impressive for a first foray so without further ado let's open it up I am so, so excited. Um, from what I've read, it actually, uh, as far as efficiency, it performs really well. I think it's got a 225 watt TDP and they require uh, or they recommend a 600 or a 650 watt um, power supply. So take a breath, everyone. And <laughs> let's see what we've got. Oh, apologies in advance. This is a new camera. Autofocus is a bit fuzzy on it. So if it just goes wonky, uh, hopefully I'll just edit that out or you'll suffer through it, you know, whatever happens. Here we go. What do we got? Let's play. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like Let's Play. Intel Arc Graphics. Oh, it's a quick start guide with a little QR code on the back. That's a little thank you for choosing Intel. Oh, you're quite welcome. And then I think this is, um, what is this? Um, Maybe warranty information. Uh, it's got all the languages, so that's good to see. And then, oh, blue back. Okay. Now, for the moment I've all been waiting for. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, having the uh, Intel Arc A770 in hand, it does feel quality. It does have a really nice look to it. It's got a very sleek aesthetic. I do really enjoy like kind of the minimalist backplate that they have on it. Um, it does weigh pretty light. I, I couldn't find an official weight online, so I just kind of threw it on my kitchen scale and it came in at just under three pounds. And I think, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious why. The, the construction is largely plastic. I mean, it is quality plastic, but they've got a nice texture here on the back and then this is rubberized around the edges but i mean we'll we'll call it what it is i mean it's plastic uh the fans do appear to be quality and then of course the heat fins look nice i don't see anything obvious that that would set on up any red flags for me um we do have an eight pin and a six pin power connector here uh, as we discussed earlier it takes 225 so you'd want about a 600 watt or more power supply uh, as far as ports, we do have three DisplayPort, DisplayPort 2.0 and one HDMI 2.1. Um, as far as dimensions go, you won't have trouble with too many cases, honestly. Uh, length, we're looking at about 269 millimeters, about 10 and a half inches. Width, from here to here, we're looking at about 98 millimeters or just under four inches. And then uh, height, or however you want to look at it, so top to bottom. As it would be it's it's just uh, it's like one and a half inches i think it's 40.8 millimeters give or take a little bit there so i mean it's a nice discreet see what i did there uh gpu um it's a nice two slot i really really appreciate uh, how how compact it is honestly because i feel like we're we're in the days of ridiculously large coolers and, and graphics cards where we're like three slot plus and it's just refreshing. And I, I know that this is kind of coming in the budget entry level. Uh, it's it's not going to be contending with any of the 40 series really seriously, um, at least like the 4070 and up. And that said, uh, we can briefly talk about price here. So this one did uh, release at an MSRP of $349. I have seen it go on sale. I was actually able to pick this up um, on a really good sale um, 
for under 300. So it, it does pretty frequently go under. You just kind of have to watch the sale. There's an ASRock model on Newegg right now for 309. I've seen the other board partner, which is the Acer Bifrost. It's a really cool looking card, um, but I really wanted to get my hands on the, the reference or the limited edition, I guess they're called. Um, but yeah, I, I've seen them as low as 279. And uh, I think if, if you're looking for, for mid-tier and you really, really, really just kind of want to vote with your dollar and like we'll do a full review once we get it into the system. Um, but I, I did want to take just like one minute and go over that is as I said at the beginning of the video, like I really, really feel like there's just like perfect price slotting between uh, Team Green and Team Red. And like it needs a destabilization because the fact of the matter is, is they found where they fit and they found where they can price and they're pricing the, the basic gamer general consumer like out of decent products. And uh, I haven't seen anything um, of the new generation, the 40 series or the 7000 series that really leapt out to me in the, the budget and mid range, mid range. Like we haven't seen the 7,800 yet. We haven't seen the 7700s yet, but I mean, the consensus on the 4070 Ti and below has been lukewarm at best. So the best way I can really voice my opinion on this is AMD and Nvidia are playing chess while the rest of us just want to play video games. And I really hope that Intel can step in uh, with Arc and with Battle Mage coming very soon and be competitive and competitively priced and just shake all of that up because it, the, the deck needs a shuffle and it needs one bad. So I'm really, really optimistic about this. I'm really excited to get into my system. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you guys again so much for, for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, normally I would have this installed in my system, but I've actually got some more special plans for this that I'll be uh, debuting very, very soon in a, in a follow-up video. So I just wanted to say thank you again. I really appreciate you guys sticking it out with me while I got everything sorted. Um, but yeah, contact is going to be coming fast and frequent. So Thank you for sticking it out. If you enjoyed this content, if you're excited to see what this guy can do, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. More content's coming, especially on this. So yeah, thank you again. I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.